Hello everybody and welcome to the Review Chair Uncut. This review is for uh, the season finale of The Walking Dead, season 10. Uh, if you haven't checked out my reaction, uh, go ahead and uh, just click down below and subscribe and uh, go check it out at my uh, the Reaction Chair Uncut channel where I do all my reactions. But uh, this is the review and uh, for those that you've come over uh, from that one, I really appreciate it. Um, uh, I guess I'll get started off with, uh, why in the heck did they wait so long to drop this uh, episode? I mean, obviously, the big, the obvious thing is uh, the pandemic, but, uh, I, I mean, come on, they had, they must have had this episode already done, um, and, uh, I mean, we were literally, like, they were about to drop it and when this whole thing started, so it's like they intentionally saved it. For, for later, and I just don't get it because uh, I think it was a bad uh, idea because me personally, um, I kind of lost interest in it a little bit. Uh, I even forgot a lot of the characters' names. Like before I watched my the reaction, I had to look up uh, some of the names uh, so I can kind of remember uh, who the characters were. But um, uh, I'm I was really hyped and usually am on Walking Dead when I'm watching them. Uh, and, and, you know, having to wait a week is uh, bad enough in this day and age where we get these, uh, like, the whole season dropped uh, for stuff on, um, like, Netflix, for instance. But, uh, uh, I mean, a week is bad enough, but it's okay. And uh, I, I just kept waiting and waiting, and uh, they just didn't drop it. And uh, I finally looked it up, and they said, uh, oh, well, you know, we're, you know, we're, drop we're dropping it later at the end of the year or whatever. And I was like, why? Why do that? Like, I, uh, it really took out the hypeness that I had for this last episode. And then uh, on top of that, uh, I, to be honest, I, I don't really think, uh, this is my opinion, by the way, uh, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but uh, I just don't think it was that great of an episode in general. Um, the, the highlight of that episode for me uh, was um, seeing Maggie, and uh, we didn't really get to meet that character. Uh, uh, are we supposed to know who that is? I have no idea. If you guys do, uh, please let me know. Uh, the dude looks like Snake Eyes or whatever. It's got the freaking mask on and those little sickles. He's a badass, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, Jesus reincarnate, but, um, uh, that was a highlight, um, the, uh, when they went back in, when Daryl had the idea to go back in and, um, uh, start assassinating the, the, uh, the whispers and, and like that, that was just freaking awesome, dude. Like it reminded me of Assassin's Creed and it was very... Uh, shot very well, and then all of a sudden Negan was there, and he's like, oh yeah, Negan's still trying to help. He got, he distracted him long enough for Daryl to swing in and freaking jab him in the eyeballs. And uh, once again, are, are we supposed to know who uh, Beta was? I, I swear, when they showed his face, it looked to me like it was, uh, I forget the dude's name, but uh, the guy that plays Hopper on Stranger Things. Um, I don't know if that's right, or but... Uh, Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments section. I would appreciate it. Uh, but uh, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Um, so, I mean, it started right where you left off. You had, I, the, they had some good, uh, you know, um, the inspirational speeches. Uh, um, uh, I know Ezekiel, his, his speech to uh, um, Eugene, I, I thought that was very good. Um, Carol and uh, Lydia had some good dialogue uh, when they were getting all into their dramatic, like, back and forths. Uh, uh, I liked how they were using uh, nail bombs, and I like, like, a, like a Last of Us um, shout out. Um, and, but, uh, oh yeah, those, those uh, Legolas, <laughs> the bow experts who nail those people from freaking 200 yards away, that was dope. Uh, when they had to go out into the crowd and sneak and be all sneaky, uh, there's a couple of things. I mean, it is Walking Dead, so there are obviously gonna, always going to be a couple of things that uh, <clears throat> don't make too much sense uh, for dramatic effect. 
One being like they just let those guys break through the the door with the axe, and uh, they just like could have nailed them. They would have start throwing arrows through the freaking hole, man. Start piling dead bodies up in front of the door so they can get in. But they just let them do it, and then they threw their own nail bomb through the door. I mean, come on, you guys had to know that was coming, but I'm sure that uh, all was all because of um, you know drama, keeping the drama going. Um, let me think, uh, the, the, the scene where, uh, um, they, they throw on the, the speakers and they're, they're using the carriage to pull them away, all of a sudden it's night, I wish they kind of would have transitioned that a little bit better, uh, I liked that part though, the, 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 um, uh, whispers were, you know, using the zombies as shields and then they used like that medieval, uh, spike strip to take out the, the freaking wagon so they could take out the speakers, that was all cool. Um, the I liked how Lydia uh, wanted to basically redeem herself in the eyes of like the group, um, you know, leading the uh, the walkers to the edge. Um, I think that all could have been done a lot better, personally. Uh, I guess it makes sense uh, in a sense, like there wasn't any sound kind of letting like trailing the walkers off, so they all followed it. But uh, I guess if you think of it like a uh, stampede, uh, I kind of mentioned this in my reaction, um, pretty much the same thing, right? They, uh, the cows or the whole, I don't know if it's ever happened with horses, but if they were to run at a cliff like that, they're all running together and it's just too late to stop, so they literally all go off the edge. Kind of the same idea. But uh, um, kind of lame as far as uh, the whole... Um, you know, her uh, saving the, uh, um, I'm sorry, Carol. Uh, I liked that she did that. Of course she cares for her, but uh, a little cringy. Like, I, I just, I don't know. For me personally, just felt like it could have been done, uh, could have been done a better way. Like, there could have been some better writing there. Uh, kind of just a good example in all of the episode in general. Uh, I ate... They seem to pack too much uh, in that 45 minutes or whatever it was, um, and the, what they packed in there wasn't even that great. Like, come on, let's remember the endings uh, for seasons or mid-season finales, like awesome endings, like Rick sacrificing himself, and like, like why can't we get that? Like, I like those dramatic things. No one needed to die, but uh, it just didn't really hit my uh, pull on my heartstrings enough um, for me to deem it as a awesome episode. It was okay, but we're talking about The Walking Dead here, and uh, 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 should be way higher than just okay. Um, should be freaking fantastic, phenomenal, awesome. I did not feel that personally about this episode. Uh, like I said, it was great seeing Maggie. Uh, I would like to know who that uh, person is with the mask. I guess he's with Maggie, um, with the sickles. Uh, the Oh yeah, and uh, um, man, I forget the guy with the one eye. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I'm kind of pissed off about. I knew his name. I knew that dude's name back when I was watching this uh, six months ago. Like, I'm a Walking Dead fan. But uh, it's been so long to where I, I forgot the dude's name. But uh, the guy with the one eye, uh, the priest or whatever, he, uh, I thought they were getting ready to kill him off. And uh, that was an awesome scene where uh, um, the dude comes in with the sickles and just shreds him up and then Maggie's there to greet him and everything. Kudos, that's friggin', that was a good one. Um, and, uh, as I see her right now, I can't really... Oh, yeah, uh, the girl at the end, which I also forget her name. Uh, um, but I'm so glad she survived the, the cave-in, and I'm sure Kara will be too. I hope she finds that out sooner rather than later so she can stop, uh, slitting or cutting herself. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, um... Uh, the guy, the the um, the dude on the horseback at the end, like I thought that was gonna be Rick, and I, I don't think I'm alone in that. Um, uh, I wonder what dynamics gonna go on there, and I kind of even forget what I know. That guy like lost his family in a pretty bad way, but I like I said, it was six months ago, so I forgot how he lost his family. 
I know they tried making him off to be crazy seeming, and I, we all thought he was crazy, but then he was like just uh, heartbroken, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I'm interested to see where that's going to go. I uh, wish it was Rick. God damn. But, um, and then, uh, and then what, what the last thing I can think about right now is the Stormtroopers. So, uh, or, um, they, you know what, they're either Stormtroopers slash, uh, the military police whatever on, uh, the Hunger Games, uh, trilogy. But, uh, very interesting, they're all decked out in their stuff. I wonder if that, uh, uh, armor is zombie-proof and uh, possibly blaster proof, laser proof, I'm not sure. Is it arrow proof even? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but uh, I, I was, had a feeling that that chick um, Eugene was talking to was uh, playing him. And uh, from this, you don't really know. Uh, you would have thought the green would have been a lot m more uh, welcoming, but um, I guess, uh, maybe they're just making sure it's Eugene, and, well, he did yell out his name, but, uh, uh, maybe they're just being careful, and, uh, we, no one can blame them, that, in the zombie apocalypse, so, but, uh, anyways, that's my thoughts on, uh, the, the season finale of The Walking Dead Season 10. Um, if you guys like my, uh, Walking Dead reaction and reviews, um, I literally just bought, uh, season six of Fear, and that is, I, I love Fear just as much, and, uh, I'm gonna be dropping, uh, reacting and, and reviewing, dropping those, uh, reactions, uh, when the episodes come out. Right now, there's only one episode out, so I'm gonna probably film that today and get it up, uh, but, uh, then, you, you know... Just come back and expect my reactions uh, every week. Uh, it's probably going to be not the day it airs on uh, AMC, but the day after because uh, it's on Voodoo and i got to wait a day. But I uh, will definitely be reacting and reviewing those. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching my videos. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and you guys have a great day.